folks, welcome to the channel. I'm Don. This is Rockin' the Country. I hope you're doing well. I've got a gift request. John Hermes made a gift to the channel. John, thank you for the gift, my friend, and the request. Hot Country Nights, then it rained. And I've done a couple of Hot Country Nights stuff. I remember I did harassment. <laughs> Just the title alone. Not harassment, but harassment. Um, I guess she had a nice ass. I mean, this is a relatively clean channel here, but I mean, it's part of life. <laughs> either, you either have a nice one or you don't. Depends on the viewer. But uh, Hot Country Nights, Then It Rained. So let's find out what Then It Rained is about. Huh. You'd think something like that. It's like something went wrong and it was really sad, but it could be anything. So far, it's consistent with my pre-assessment. I was talking on the phone with my neighbor Ted. I asked him, how's it going? This is what he said. His wife was in Ohio with some old college friends. Would I want to watch the game? Then it rained. The lead up. There's this time down in Fort Worth in some old honky tonk. I was out of town on business, wasn't doing nothing wrong. I ordered up a hot dog and a glass of Chardonnay. Somewhere I thought I heard George Street. Then it rained. It rained. Oh, it rained. It stopped for a little while. Then it rained. We're on a weather theme here, John. And dramatic. There's a day I won't forget. I was walking through the house. The pillows were crooked. All the cushions on the couch. And I checked underneath them and found a little change. And I saw a couple stains. And then it rained. It rained. Oh, it rained. It stopped for a little while. And then it rained. It rained. We're definitely on a dramatic tear here, John. We had thunder. The thunder rolls yesterday, and now we got rain. Uh, but and the and the dramatic buildup in this one. I guess uh, we're gonna find out what this means. I was coming home from the car wash on my way back from work. I dropped off some canned goods over at the church. And my wife called to remind me we had dinner plans at eight. I had to tell her I'd be late. Shit, who did what? Are they both doing wrong? Is neither? And the birds came out, which means it stopped raining. So, what? That was just. What did the rain? Um, what is the significance of the rain? These are just normal events in life. She's with some college friends. You're like, oh, did something go wrong there? 
He's home watching the game, normal. He was on a business trip once. Nothing went wrong there. He's driving home from the car wash, perfectly normal. Dropping off canned goods at the church. She calls, says, remember our dinner plans at 8. And he said, I'll be late. But another episode in the middle was he came home. He was looking for change. I mean, he looked under the couch cushions, found some change and some stains. Stains on the couch are normal. I mean, you could assume that something untoward happened there, that she cheated on the couch. But that you in this song, I don't think you can assume that. You know, the only connection is when he said, I'll be, he's dropping off canned goods at the church. They had dinner plans at eight, but he'll be late. But he didn't say why. I mean, did he decide to empty the pantry out and leave because he thought she cheated? Uh, can't read that into that. That's too much of a leap, I think. I, I mean, unless I missed a significant, like one word in a song can clue you in. To what really happened. And in this one, we didn't get that. So, is this along the lines of a dramatic Parker McCollum's, what is it, like 90 miles from like I'm um, uh, out by the lake where it's almost making fun of the dramatic songs, but there's nothing to read into it. And uh, because he's got, I mean, harassment, you know, for instance, that's the one I recall. I forgot what the other one was that I did. But I wonder if they do these types of songs <laughs> to, just to mess with you. <laughs> I mean, because this one kind of is. And it was very dramatic. But nothing went wrong, as far as I could tell. So, I don't know. Is it meant to make fun of the listener who just wants these kinds of things to go wrong, yet nothing, not make fun of, but par partially to point out to you that you're looking for the negative? It's not always there. Sometimes life is just simple and straightforward. Oh, John, what did you do to me on this one? This wasn't like Garth's The Thunder Rolls. This was very different. Hot Country Nights. This was not that. And it rained. All right. I'm going to rate this one. I am befuddled. How often do I use that word? How often do you use it? The number I'm going to the number that popped in my head's an 8.9. Instrumentally was fine, nothing over the top, but the lyricism in this thing, if they were going for what I just assessed, it could have been higher. They got what they were going for. I just don't know. So, John, you're going to clear this up. I'm assuming, Jeff Cathy, you probably know the backstory on this already. And um, just from memory. And uh, and that's it. All right, guys. Hope you enjoyed that. That was kind of, it's kind of fun, these mental cha these challenges of figuring things out. All right. Have a great day. I'll see you on another video. Drop canned goods off at the church and then go home and have dinner uh, with your wife at eight o'clock or thereafter. All right. See you on another video. Keep rocking the country.